Minnesota is fighting that growing opioid overdose epidemic. Next, in studio, live, we're talking with a chiropractor who tells us how he thinks chiropractic care could actually help turn things around. We'll explain. Five Eyewitness News. We'll be right back. Welcome back, 842. We have been reporting on this growing opioid epidemic, both here in Minnesota and also all across the country. The state health department says more than 500 people died from opioid overdoses in Minnesota in 2015 alone. So here to explain how proper chiropractic care might actually help ease this epidemic. We've got chiropractor Dr. John McKegg here from The Joint. And some people are thinking, wait a minute, you're talking about opioid deaths, we're talking about chiropractic care. Where's the connection? There's some new research that, show, that shows these two actually could work hand in hand to, to prevent these opioid deaths. Explain. Yeah, that's correct. Actually, yeah, the CDC came out with research mm -hmm. that uh, actually showed, especially with the low back pain folks, that uh, alternative care actually worked as good or better in many in many cases than opioids, you know, especially opioids by themselves. Mm -hmm. Because so many times, whether you get hurt or if it's a chronic pain, constant pain, you know, you just kind of get hooked. A lot of times, I mean, it can potentially be sort of innocent people. This gives medical professionals another alternative, so maybe you don't have to go down that path of those strong medicines right away, and then you can kind of work in hand with those neurologists um, or other kinds of doctors, right? Describe that. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of times, especially lately, we're getting more people that are referred in for mm -hmm. like the beginning treatments of care. Okay. So they come into the joint and we're able to see them for the chiropractic side of things mm. and then with the MD they're they're seen there for any sort of a prescription or things like that and a PT so we're actually able to work as a team with a lot of people and really help to either reduce or eliminate the need for those prescription drugs and that's kind of a newer phenomenon you were saying that's not something that had always traditionally happened yeah where you're working hand in hand talk about you know some of the everyday things that we can do maybe because there's physical therapy but then there's also kind of the chiropractic adjustments for people watching at home are there things that they can do maybe at their own house to kind of help with any pain that they might be having for example in their lower back yeah there absolutely is I mean there's uh, I mean anybody who really wants to get more in depth in it that you can look up different stretches and things okay. for home care sure, sure. but because it's so individualized to the person mm -hmm. it ends up being that you know if they if they are able to see a professional yeah. and get those things because one of the things we actually do in that first visit is mm. to give those home care recommendations specific mm. to those people okay. so that they can get those done and then you know move towards health. Love it. But again this is another alternative at least to try to start with this and maybe potentially you don't have to use those opioids that we've Absolutely. been reporting on with that. Good new information. Thanks for that. We appreciate it.